we're heating up our greenhouse with poop. The poop is horse manure, which is a part of our compost heater. I'm Andrea. I'm a member of the green team from Groundwork Somerville. Groundwork is a nonprofit organization that runs the South Street Farm. It's a quarter acre urban farm where we grow healthy, affordable vegetables for the local community. Green Team is Groundwork's teen employment and leadership program. This thing behind me is located on our South Street Farm and it's a greenhouse. We need the greenhouse so we can start the growing season as early as possible by starting seeds while it's still cold outside. The greenhouse traps heat from the sun, but it's not enough to get the temperature above 65 degrees, which is optimal for growing. We're not using electricity or burning fossil fuels to generate heat. We're doing it with compost. Jess is the deputy director and farm manager at Groundwork Somerville. So we want heat, which is a type of energy, and we know it's in the compost. This heat is actually heat from the sun. We learned that the sun provides energy to the plants, and the plants obviously feed horses, and then the horses take that nutrition and poop it out. Our compost heater will be a box with layers of leaves, horse manure, and cocoa shells, donated by a local chocolate factory. Microorganisms, which exist naturally in the environment, break down the organic materials in the layers. Microorganisms need moisture and oxygen to live and multiply. As they break down the material, they make carbon dioxide and heat, as much as 100 to 150 degrees. The first step for our compost heater is to build the box. All right, we're good. We faced a lot of challenges towards the beginning. We couldn't get it level, so we had to keep on moving the gravel in and out. It's not actually touching there. Oh. That's pretty good. Oh, After we built the box, we had to take PVC pipes and drill holes into them and place them at the bottom of the box. The PVC pipes go under the compost layer they will allow oxygen to flow into the compost. And we put a layer of fabric over the pipes, and the compost layers will go on top of that. Now that we have the box built, we need to keep putting in layers of leaves, horse manure, and cocoa shells until we get to the top of the box. Heater. Now that the compost heater is built, we're going to start planting seeds. The best way to use our compost heater is as a surface to start our seedlings. So what we're trying to achieve is a higher temperature here at the surface. And this digital thermometer reads the temperature of surface areas. It's about 68 degrees here on the compost system. The optimal temperature to start seedlings is above 65 degrees, and that's what we have. Placing our seedlings on top of the compost heater allows us to start our growing season much earlier. We want to make sure that our community is receiving as much healthy produce as possible, and we want to be environmentally responsible. To generate heat in the greenhouse, we don't burn oil and we don't use electricity. We're mainly reliant on the heat from the sun and the heat that we produce from our compost system. We need more urban farms. They're important for kids that live in the city like us and who don't have much access to going into big rural farms. So if you have an urban farm near you, volunteer, help out, do whatever you can to make sure that you are involved. Urban farms are necessary. Make sure you're taking care of yours.